Greetings, friends. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Legacy of the Void. I'm Fwop. Matriarch, there is a massive output of void energy spiking from the temple below. And here we are. Oh, shit. Like the foot slide noise. Damn, this dude is rocking it. I do not come as your enemy, Dark Templar. This guy's kind of awesome. You will take us to our tennis. Most wise. Oh man, I actually like him more than any other. I have brought an additional defense anyone else? Well, uh, online, matriarch. Please visit the solar core to confirm. Yeah. Alarak is making me happy. Okay, let's. Uh, let's... I did not invade your ship. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Your hierarch is apparently unaware of the danger closing in around him. Sure. If you desire He's busy, a dude. Return, you will send your warriors to these coordinates now. All right, we got someone word. I don't know what for. Destroy 15 units with sonic storms. All right. A little bit trickier that sounds. Uh complete this mission before Kerrigan loses more than three hives all right hybrids humans sure okay war council uh oh Rohan is looking rough Same cutscene. Well, it looks like we've got a permanent extra passenger this that Taldarim has brought warriors with him. Perhaps there is a benefit to his presence after all. Awesome. We got some Taldarin up in here. Oh, we've got these stalker things. Alright, so nothing yet. No Taldariminess yet. I from what I can tell, right? I didn't miss anything. There's only two type of oh. Ho -ho. Blood hunter. 
Void stasis. Imprisons target unit or structure in void stasis for 10 seconds. All the target's attacks, abilities, movement, detection, production, and tech are disabled. Cannot be attacked or affected by abilities. Holy crap. These things. Permanent cloaked. Um, this is by far looks like the best choice to me. The ability to disable any detectors you run across and simply just wipe out things. Or to keep a unit from running away while you slaughter its escort and then surround it is fantastic. Uh huh, solar core. Matriarch. Talk to the Keystone carrots. has begun absorbing void energies at an unprecedented rate. Then this Taldarine speaks the truth. Void energies flood from the temple. With each passing moment, the threat grows. I do not trust him, but all data points to the scenario he describes. A gateway to the void has been opened. Is there any way right, to right. pinpoint our tennis? No. The energies are making us virtually blind. We must put our faith in this Taldarim. It pains me to do so. Void energies. Used to be the word nuclear. A Taldarim warrior invades our ship while our hierarch is missing. I do not like this matriarch. Strange. The Keystone is extracting energies at an unprecedented rate. All right. New column of abilities. Let's reset these bad boys. What do we got? Mass recall, foe free. It's cheap, energy wise. Okay, and it gives them 200 extra shields for 20 seconds, enough to fight off a assault that's closing on your primary nexus. Grants a barrier to all friendly units and structures, absorbs up to 200 damage, lasts for 20 seconds. Okay. Deploy. Phoenix. What? Deploys Phoenix onto the battlefield, dealing 200 damage to enemy units in target area upon impact. Attacks on his own and can cast Whirlwind, Thunder's Charge, and Shield Capacitors. Phoenix leaves the battlefield after 30 seconds. 150 seconds after that, you can use it again. That seems awesome. It also costs 100 points. How awesome is it? Hmm, we have 150 total points, and we can now increase our shield recharge rate. So we can put up to 60 points in this. Um, While well, dropping Phoenix once every three minutes is obviously going to be awesome, and I'm sure he's incredibly boss. Uh, that can be used every three minutes. Um... Generally, you fight with more units. Still. Let's see, what are we doing? This is probably a timed mission. Let's look at the mission specials. I forgot to. Psionic Storms. We have to help Kerrigan defend. Alright, so maybe being able to drop him in is actually going to be helpful for fighting off Kerrigan uh, haters. Let's see. Construction time is actually, now that I think about it, the least necessary one. Starting supply saves us plenty of cash. Orbital strike I think will also be useful for helping protect Kerrigan. I've heard that Temporal Field still lets you harm people. Let's choose... Uh, no, let's keep Orbital Strike. Orbital 
simulator, chrono surge. Is Deploy Phoenix really worth it? Let's see how good it actually is. I'm sure he's basically invincible in 30 seconds. He can probably cause some pretty brutal. We could kick off starting supply and go with Solar Lance and Phoenix. Just very heavy on the damage dealing potential here. We do have to kill enemies with Psionic Storm. Sure. Uh, uh, let's do this. So the supply and the assimilators will save us um, minerals uh, as we won't need to build, it's six less probes we have to build per base. Um, and then the starting supply is like three extra pylons we don't have to build, especially early in the mission. So let's go with this particular setup, a kind of, uh, should let us get extra zealots up in the beginning. Uh, let's see, what do I want from those zealots again? I want them to get back up because they are tanks and that is what they tank. Stalker. Where shall we march? Adepts, huh? Adepts are confusing. We'll give them a shot, I guess. We should just build a couple and see what they do. I can't imagine them being better than... Stalkers are just so versatile. These things seem a little niche. Are they melee units? Oh no, they're ranged. Uh, yeah, so we'll see. Blood hunters, energizers, probably combo really well with the adepts. The Annihilator, still my top choice here. Corsair. Let's just try these out. All right, let's do it. Get our hands on some High Templar. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, I am interested to see how the Archons work out and what alternates there are. Hate you hybrids. This path will lead your forces to Artanis. I have done as I promised, Dark Templar. Now go tell your Hierarch. I am waiting for him. Matriarch, our High Templar have volunteered to aid you. The loss of the Kala was not easily borne. But we are ready to serve once again. All right. Templar, I thank you for your bravery in this dire time. We will recover our hierarch. Finally got our Psy panties on uh, feedback. Drains all energy from the target, deals one damage per point. We all know that's brutal against Psy enemies. Archon merge. Sonic Storm just came online. 80 damage to all units in the area. And of course we have our regenerating Templar charge. Sure, let's make it happen. Unleash psionic storms, brothers. Let these hybrid thralls feel the wrath of the Templar. Kronos. Okay, remember we have to kill like 20 of them. We're running a little low. Do the Templar, they do have an attack. Psy Blast 9, range 7. That's pretty good. They're slightly slower than 
our other ground forces, which is perfect. I have heard of these Terran Spectres. Focus their energies into a feedback loop. They will not bear it. We want about two storms to guarantee that we actually kill anything. And of course, if we wound our sentinels and they die, they'll just come back. I think we did well. Your forces have arrived just in time. Amon has opened a portal to the void. It must be shut down before it tears us apart. Agreed. My swarm and I will bear the brunt of Amon's power and buy you time. Nice. But it's up to you to seal that. The Zergling looks awesome. Are those the uh, hoppy ones? These the raptors? We will need to destroy them if we are to seal the gate. Then it shall be done. Hey! Okay. Orbital simulator, that's right. The darkness is approaching my hive cluster, Artanis. The darkness. I'm ready to disable those crystals. I'll continue sending as many Zerg as I can spare to help you. Fight Do well, Tempar. Let's get these. All right, we're absorbing the assimilators. It might actually be faster uh, Vespine income than it might be the fastest possible Vespine income. All right. It's okay if our sentinels get wounded or die. That's how they roll. Got to get a pylon up here. Hundred and fifty and a hundred. Hierarch, I am detecting several energy sources hidden across the temple. They appear to be Zel Naga vessels, ancient power sources. If we can locate them, I should be able to use their energy to free up additional solarite from the spear of a dune's core. at least yeah it does look like our uh, our Vespine income is insanely high with this particular upgrade
Well, this particular Vespine choice is awesome because we're going to have a ton. Okay, that's pretty serious. Disruption web not quite up yet. Hard to tell which units are mine. have a 30 second cooldown. It's on autocast. Oh, that's pretty sick. Two crystals destroyed. I suspect Amon's forces will not let us take the next two so easily. Hybrid are moving to attack our nexus point. Ready our defenses. Yay, everyone back.
the crystal. Care to join us? The crystal is free of defenders. Our warriors can destroy it whenever you are ready. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Unstable. We must destroy the final crystal and do so with haste. Hybrid inbound on our nexus point. Warriors, intercept them. All right. Back to the hive to recover. You're on your own for a bit. Yeah, there's just some. Get out of there. Is there any like hidden soul right in this one? Activate Zelnaga vessels. I don't even see these things. Upgrade complete. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. We are under kind of a time limit, but it would be worse to uh, to miss out on soul right. Focus on the Void Crystal's Artanis. The enemy bases can wait until we're good and ready. Artanis, hurry up and disable those Void Crystals. My Hive Cluster is taking a beating. Phoenix is rocking the house. You feel that. Hmm. 
I still haven't found one of these Zelnaga vessel things. Getting kind of concerned. Perhaps that's it. We've secured a Zelnaga vessel, Karax. Prepare for transfer. Unbelievable. Despite eons of inactivity, these devices are still at full power. Okay, we found one device. Is there one over here? One up here, perhaps. I don't need that. That just seems like a temply thing. Zerg. I don't think we're going to finish that bonus objective, but I want the Solarite more. Totally forgot to build a... What? Fiber core. The second Zelnaga power source has been secured. I only detect one energy signal left. Where might it be? Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay, definitely not down here. I've already checked multiple times. Minions, move out. Eviscerate any fool who stands in your way. That's just through here. Back on battle cruisers. No, we don't want that one. Maybe we do. Where is this other shippy thing? Ooh, that's bad news. there. 
Seriously. I keep feeling like it's down here. There's two of three. We totally let Kerrigan go to waste. Is it here near Kerrigan? My hive cluster won't survive much longer. Disable the crystals now. I don't want to. Is it past this crystal? Perhaps it is close to home. time I dealt with this personally. Minions, to the Void Crystal. Ah. Ah, there we go. All of you guys. It was right there all along. That is the last of the vessels, Karax. Sorry, Kerrigan. Totally let you down. Those things just blend in. Uh, we totally failed the bonus objective. And went significantly over time. Once the missions start getting... ...significantly more than half an hour long, I will start breaking him up into two pieces. Alright, so if I'd figured out what was going on, I might have done better there. We fought well this day, Kerrigan. Join us. Together, we can defeat Amon and send him back into the void. My swarm was broken here, Artanis. I'll need time to rebuild my forces. There is no time. My people are being consumed. Their very flesh turned into Amon's own. I cannot wait. Then you must do as I am. Gather allies, subjugate enemies, do whatever you can to ensure victory. Survival is never pretty. We are very different leaders. But I thank you nonetheless. Until we meet again. The Protoss are a little southern. I think they've got a little bit of that charm. Secrets to Earth. Lots of achievements. Alright, Stormcaller. We did manage with the Sonic Storms. I mean, we were throwing them down. Nice thing about the uh, Purifier um, Zealots is that I don't worry about Sonic Storming them too much. Uh, they'll charge in there. They'll get Stormed. They'll hold the enemy in place while the Storm deals with them. Uh, obviously this we failed. We could have done it if I'd realized what the solarite things looked like. Or found that one near my base would have helped a lot, but totally miffed it. Missed it. Uh, we were still actually kind of close, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a problem. But, hey, we got what really counted all the solarite. And we acquired some High Templar, Taldarim stuff coming up for the next mission. I'm going to check out those because they were super awesome. The auto casting on disruption web and the ugh, auto casting on the dark templar blood hunter things it's amazing so uh yeah that's it for this episode thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and until next time do as i say not as i do